just prior to lunch, always a tough time, but <laughs> um, uh, we have uh, uh, Christy Caldwell and Lori Lothian from the Transplant Research Foundation are here to share it with us. Um, Christy is the Senior Advisor for Transplant Research Advocacy and, and Lori is the co-chair. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, it's uh, uh, what a morning. Uh, uh, I'll say more about that in a bit. My connection to transplant uh, is my husband, Tom, had a liver transplant 15 years ago. Uh, Christy uh, received a new heart 23 years ago. Our co-chair, Rachel, uh, who I hope you'll meet, uh, donated a kidney to her husband, Milo, uh, a, a year and a bit ago. So we're all very invested and we feel pretty blessed, especially after some of the, uh, you know, the scary uh, uh, talk this morning in some ways, uh, to have that kind of longevity is, uh, is a privilege. Um, we'd like to get used to this. Um, acknowledge the opportunity to meet, gather, and learn on these unceded lands. We're grateful for that, and we're grateful for uh, BC Transplant and the opportunity to introduce ourselves to you if you don't know us, um, and especially the opportunity to talk a little bit about how we can support your work um, in improving the lives of transplant uh, recipients. Uh, uh, pardon me. Uh, next slide. We have a. Okay, maybe we are having some technical. We did. It didn't move. Yeah. Over to something like. There we go. Um, transplant is not a cure, although I have to say. Um, after the presentations uh, this morning, I feel that we are a lot closer. Uh, the mission and vision of, uh, of uh, the Research Foundation is that one day transplant will be a cure. And our mission is to support the work of all of the researchers, the clinicians, um, those working in the province to find answers, to move us along the path. And, and it was so inspirational uh, this morning. And it feels like we may be just a little bit closer than uh, perhaps we thought we were. <laughs> um, uh, there we are. <laughs> I am, I'm sorry for this. Uh, so who are we? Uh, well, we started life actually as BC Transplant Research Foundation, the brainchild of Bill Barables, who was the longtime um, uh, director of BC Transplant. And he saw um, the amazing ideas. So Dr. Keown's ideas, Dr. Lenz, some of the, the ideas we've seen today. These ideas were happening even back in the 90s when he started, but it's very hard to get funding for those ideas. CHRI typically will not give uh, a grant for an idea. You need to take it to proof of concept. And so that was the purpose of the Research Foundation, to fund these great ideas in their early stages and get them to a place where they can attract the larger grants. And uh, things have changed a little bit um, over the years. Uh, we are now a standalone foundation, uh, meaning that all of the grants that we fund uh, are made possible through donations from typically grateful transplant patients, uh, and the community at large. And uh, we think of ourselves as small but mighty. Uh, we've partnered with VGH and UBC Hospital Foundation and VCHRI, and this allows us as an organization to stay focused on our mission and to keep our costs low. We are run by a uh, uh, volunteer Board of Directors, you'll notice, uh, I'm sure many uh, familiar faces there. Uh, Christy is our one employee. And before um, uh, I, I go on, what 
what do we do? We fund transplant research. That is our purpose. Our venture grants we've had for a long, long time. Uh, we spoke yesterday in more detail about the team grants and the research challenge grants. And these have been fantastic because these are the grants that are targeted to improvement in practice and the ideas of clinicians. Um, and uh, if you weren't here yesterday, I hope you'll uh, look at these programs uh, as potential support for your ideas. Um, Finally, uh, before I go on, I want to talk about patient-oriented research. Um, this is the idea that patients belong in research, not just as uh, subjects, but as partners. And we are uh, uh, bringing this really to tra all transplant research in British Columbia. We support it in two ways, uh, through education and training of researchers and patients. Uh, we have a, a whole uh, team of patient partners trained up and now working in projects. And we also require that all of our projects contain a robust patient engagement plan. And uh, now I'll ask uh, Christy to talk a little bit about Thanks, Laurie. Hello again, everyone. Um, so at the heart of our organization is our venture grant program. And here you see a quote by Dr. Christopher Guan, who is one of the recipients of our 2023 venture grant for his project using artificial intelligence to tailor perioperative management of patients undergoing kidney transplant. So Dr. Guan has eloquently articulated the true value of this venture grant work in that it has brought about transformational impacts in organ donation and transplant medicine. And so our venture grant program was formalized in 2008, thus enabling us to continue to find vital and really unique areas of study. And as many programs do, our venture grant has evolved over the years. And in 2021, we partnered with the, bank, or with the Canadian Donation and Transplant Research Program, the CDTRP. And this is after more than a decade of single-handedly running the program on our own, doing our own peer review. And so with them, we partnered for the Research Innovation Competition. And this was really an opportunity for us to reaffirm our commitment to BC-based investigators and to really offer them additional opportunities where they could have enhanced collaboration on a national scale. And so through this, uh, we fund, we commit to fund up to two to three $30,000 venture grants every year under the, the Innovation in the Umbrella Competition. And you might note here, the competition launches in January with LOI, or sorry, the, uh, the full applications are due March 26th. And as we shared with you yesterday, each of these slides has a QR code. And so if you'd like to learn more about the eligibility, the requirements, and even some of the work that we funded, I encourage you to scan that and go to your art website where you'll learn all those details. In fact, here are just some of the, the actually it's three of the more than 30 venture grants that we've been able to support over the years. I'm sure you'll recognize some of these individuals. Um, and what you can see here is that the work that we're funding really is all encompassing. So it includes the more bench, the more scientific work, the more clinical, as well as the more qualitative research projects. And of course, we have Dr. Meg Levings, who is really a leader in T-cell therapy and immunology. And we were able to fund her very early on in our venture grant. She's one of our first recipients. It was for her work on inducing tolerance and T-cell therapy, which at the time was quite novel and it was in its infancy. And of course, because of our seed funding, she has gone on to receive multiple millions of dollars of additional external research funding that has really propelled these ideas forward. And then, of course, we have Dr. Uh, Gill and Dr. Sakan, who are brilliant in their own right, who are really bringing about uh, new ways of thinking when it comes to the care and the management of patients, caregivers, as well as our donors. And even today, you heard from, of course, Dr. Land and Dr. Harriman, who were also recipients of TRF Venture Grants. So that really just shows you the wide reach of this program. 
And then we have our Addison Fund for Pediatric Transplant Research. So the Addison Fund is a division of TRF, and it was funded in, or it was founded in 2013 by Elaine Young and Erin MacArthur, whose daughter Addison underwent a heart transplant shortly after birth. And they really saw a need um, to ensure that there was more pediatric-centered and focused organ donation and transplant research so that recipients could live long and healthy lives but ensure that their care and their management was really guided by research that was relevant and based on the unique needs and the issues of this population. And if you wanna learn more about some of the really exciting work that the Addison Fund has been able to support over the years, everything from a novel essay to detect rejection to COVID-19 vaccines in young recipients and the efficacy, I encourage you to of course, scan the bar or QR code where you will go to our website and you can explore all the great projects that they've been able to fund. I'll hand it back over to Laurie to wrap up. <clears throat> Thanks, Christy. Um, measuring success and impact can be tricky for um, a smaller organization. Um, we uh, are very proud of the uh, way we've been able to steward the, the donations of uh, patients and, and the public. Um, this year, we're pretty proud to, to say that over the last 10 years, we've um, made um, a million dollars, a little over a million dollars in grants to BC based researchers to pursue their great ideas. Um, I, I also want to say that one of the important measures for us is supporting, how are we supporting the research community? How are we supporting all of you in your work to explore um, ideas around patient care? And I think on that measure, we're doing great. So far, we've been able to support every project um, that has come to us for funding. And we um, think that that is one of the most important um, um, measures, actually, because research, by definition, is um, a success. Uh, there's a question, there's an answer. Sometimes it's going to work out. Sometimes the door on that idea will be closed. But that is knowledge, and it's a contribution to the, the body of knowledge that ultimately is going to get us to that place where a uh, transplant is a cure. Um, I want to thank you for um, uh, uh, being here today. Um, please um, stay in touch with us or get in touch with us. Uh, we're active on social media. Uh, Christy writes a, a really great blog that profiles members of our community and uh, you can subscribe to that. Um, are there any questions we can take? Thank you for listening to us just before lunch. We appreciate your attention. <laughs> uh, we'll be at our booth. We have them and we have these great little pill cases you can take and uh, distribute. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, everybody.